Hi, and welcome back to A Girl and Her Glitter YouTube. I can't wait to show you how to make these magical mushrooms. I know, that sounds weird, but I was able to make these in such a way that is such a great and easy DIY. I know, I know, I say it all the time, but this one really is, and it's so cute. So, let's go ahead and make it. How I originally got this idea was because of these candles on Amazon. They come in a pack of 10, and they're battery operated. The reason why this was appealing to me is so that I could have them separate places and not have them all clustered by a wire. But what I love the most is this remote that comes with it. I'm able to put on and off, of course, brighter and dimmer, as well as a slow flicker and a fast flicker, and it's really great, they're really awesome. But this candle is essential to this project. The thickness of this candle is very important because we're gonna hot glue around this. This will actually become the top of your mushroom and this will become the bottom. So we'll be screwing the head onto the bottom. So let's take a look about how to make this. You're first gonna wanna start with some crepe paper. This is what I also found on Amazon and it's great because it's white, so it's very paintable and I love it because it's pliable and can bend into any shape that you like. You're then going to need some wire cutters as well as some wire. Now, I love this glue gun. It's from Xyron and it's called their pen. What I love about it is that the tip is very small and that will allow you to have precision gluing, which is needed on this one. You're going to take your crepe paper and you're going to put it in a, to a ball. Now, with these strips that you're going to cut, you want the crepe to go top to bottom, vertical. So that way when you stretch it horizontal, it can take the shape and still have those wonderful edges right there. You can see that now that you have a ball, you're going to take the paper and collect it on top as well as pull it down to the bottom. And that creates a scrunching, very mushroom-like effect. You're gonna repeat this process until the entire thing is covered. Once your ball is completely dried and not hot anymore, you're going to want to look underneath it because you need to make a point area for this top of the candle. Remember, we're gonna put glue on this and then stick it in there so that it will become the top. And what's great about this crepe paper is that it will illuminate and you will see some light through it. I ended up using a couple of pliers to kind of make that hole a little deeper so that it could actually go into the crepe ball. While that was drying, I took the base of the candle, because remember, it comes apart, and I was able to take the crepe paper and wrap it around, no stretching needed, the bottom to create that kind of texture that we like. And also, I'll be painting these, so I wanted the paint to stick to something, because the plastic's not really a great option. You're gonna trim that up any way that you like, and this is where the wire comes in. Because I'm putting these into my daughter's tree in her room, which is another video, this is gonna help it stay in place. And that really is the entire process on how to make these adorable crepe light up mushrooms. They are the sweetest little glow up in my daughter's room. She loves them as her nightlight because we're still in that phase, but also they just look magical. I'm placing these in her room, but also I was able to use them on a table setting, and I'm thinking that these would be really cute for Easter. What do you think? If you like this video, be sure to subscribe and definitely hit a like down below. Thanks, see you next time.